To synchronize the ignition of the air fuel mixture in the cylinder number one of the gasoline engine, sync pulses are derived from the high voltage that the ignition system supplies to the spark plug of the cylinder. The sync pulses are picked up by a black high voltage probe, which connects to the in synchro input located on the front panel of the USB Autoscope 4. The synchronization probe is attached around the plug wire of the cylinder number one. On vehicles with individual coils, commonly called COP for coil on plug ignition, the ignition coil belonging to cylinder number one may need to be removed. If needed, we use a spark plug wire between the ignition coil and the spark plug. The sync adapter or probe is then attached around the plug wire. We can also use spark plug wires on vehicles equipped with ignition modules or cassettes. One spark plug wire for each cylinder is needed in these cases. Synchronization is taken from the wire for cylinder number one, as in most all cases. When diagnosing four-stroke engines equipped with DIS ignition systems, there will be one spark for every engine revolution. One spark occurs at the end of the compression stroke, and that spark initiates combustion. The next revolution, the spark occurs at the end of the exhaust stroke. The pressure in the cylinder is quite high at the end of the compression stroke, and the spark voltage will be quite high. On the exhaust stroke, however, the pressure in the cylinder is very low. For this reason, the spark voltage on the exhaust stroke is relatively low. This spark is often called the wasted or waste spark, by the way. In order for the CSS script algorithm to work correctly, the compression or working spark must be clearly visible on the recorded waveform. To facilitate this task, the output signal of the black high voltage synchronization probe goes to the dedicated in synchro input of the device. It differs from the rest of the inputs in that, before digitizing, the input signal first passes through a peak detector. Due to this, short-term signal peaks are reliably recorded. To synchronize with the moment of ignition of the air-fuel mixture in the cylinder number one of a modern diesel engine, we are detecting the electric drive signal that the control unit sends to the fuel injector of the cylinder. As long as it is an electronically controlled injector, we can detect the drive signal. The most convenient and accurate way to record the drive signals is by using a current transducer of a small size, such as a CTIM. These transducers were specially made for such measurements. Signal cable connector of the current transducer is connected to the input number 4 that is located on the front panel of the USB Autoscope 4. On older diesel engines with fuel injectors that are not equipped with electronic control, the small expansion of the fuel line as the high pressure fuel is delivered to the injector is detected using a PD4 or PD6 piezoelectric transducer. The signal from the transducers is of a very low amplitude and is a charge signal more so than a voltage or current signal and is therefore pre-processed made into a voltage signal with a piezo amplifier, after which it goes to the input number 4 of the USB Autoscope 4. On electronically controlled diesel injectors, in order to synchronize with the moment of fuel injection, it is recommended to record not the voltage pulses of the control signal, but the current pulses flowing in the injector circuit. To synchronize the event of fuel injection of electronically controlled diesel injectors, it is recommended to use the injector's current waveform instead of the voltage trace of the control signal. The reason being, in a particular injector, current will only flow once the control unit commands the injector on, and therefore, this current pulse can be used as a sync signal. The waveform of the injector current depends on the injector type, which may be piezoelectric or electromagnetic. In all these cases, the CSS script automatically recognizes the main injection pulses and distinguishes them from all others. It should be noted that the signal of the piezoelectric transducer that detects the expansion of the diesel high-pressure fuel line has a rather specific form and contains a lot of related information, by which, with a certain degree of reliability, 
One can judge the condition of the components of the diesel fuel equipment. Some diesel engines equipped with injectors without electronic control can have one important feature. There are models where the injector of one of the cylinders is equipped with a needle movement sensor. The signal from this sensor can be successfully used as a synchronization signal source. This synchronization signal is much more reliable than the signal from the piezoelectric transducer, since it is not noisy. It should be noted that not the first, but the last cylinder is often equipped with an injector with a needle movement sensor. In this case, it is important not to forget to correctly indicate the synchronization cylinder number.